Hello, good day, Diego St. John here, midday checkup. So, today, Thursday, April 9th, the markets will be closed tomorrow, April 10th, on Friday, which is Good Friday, it's Easter Sunday coming up. So, keep that in mind, folks, that you'll see a lot of closeouts today, uh, that'll be a lot of good buying points, actually. Um, now... I've had some great charts, setups. J Nug. Still look at that. It's perfect, perfect, perfect steps. Wait for the next drop off here. It's be somewhere around five. Let's see. Is that 580? So bam, boom. Let's see. Went to so it's at 580. I, I maybe, maybe, maybe close to 550, 560. Um, at the end of the day, nothing, nothing, you know, super major, my guess. Um, this is probably going to just crash all the way down because it went up super hard, but it's at, had a good support line actually at 73, it's at 83, but as you see, it's going down. Um, so... Let's see what's another one here. This is this is a good one. This is definitely a good chart here. Three months ago, you see it was at the four dollar mark. Beautiful, beautiful setup uh, happening here as well. Forty four. Then it stalled a little here. Forty six. Boom. Jump. Boom. Plan on I'm guessing it about to jump again. Um, It's, there's just so so much going on right now. I am in BioL. Now I got in yesterday at 83 cents, and it's been as you see nothing but going down today. Uh, hurt me. So I'm down 200 bucks. The volume is good. So it opened up at 79, went to 81, and just dropped, dropped straight down to 60. So we're going to keep on watching this and uh, hope it does not go back down on a downward trend because there's just so much momentum gaining in news and everything with this stock. Uh, excuse my children, you can hear them in the background. I have very young children. I'm a single father of two that I'm raising full time. I'm a single father of three, but two I raise full time. So you hear them in the background. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so remember today is actually like your Friday in the stock market. So keep that in mind when you, you know all the shorts are going to be selling off at the end of the day. So, like, I'm looking at my chart, boom, boom, like, man, mine's just setting up to go straight back down to freaking 50 freaking dollars. Honestly, I don't like the way it's set up at all. Um, but it hit here at 55, then it hit here at 61. Or oh, after hours or Monday, I'm expecting a huge jump up. Cause if it don't, you guys are gonna see me cry. <laughs> You're not gonna see me cry. You're gonna hear me cry. You're gonna hear me cry. You hear a man's. You're gonna hear a man's tears. <laughs> For real. If I, uh, mm, mm, mm. This is my music in the background. If I was your girlfriend, song by me. Everything is by me. The guitar, drums, bass, key. I mean, I'm doing everything on the song. So, written, produced, performed all by me. So. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get you guys a reminder that today it will be the end of the market for the week and that there will be a lot of shorts selling off at the end of the day. So expect some, some dips. This is Diego St. John signing off. God bless you. Thank you. If you like what I'm sharing here, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my video. Uh, comment if you don't like it tell me why if you do tell me why uh, we're in all we're all in the market together so 
you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that my word is gold or that my word is bond. If you want to discuss things with me, well, let's discuss them. We're here to discuss. We're here to grow together. So let's do that and let's grow my portfolio uh, out of the negative because, whoa, <laughs> I can't. Look at that. Look at my week, guys. If you go back, you'll see when I, you know, I pulled my money out. I made some good money, some good investments way back then. But uh, way back in 2018, I did some great investing. Um, but this is 2020. And I'm definitely trying to trying to jump on the ball, jump on these rockets because these these spaceships are taking off everywhere. These rocket ships are just rocket men. <laughs> they're all they're just taking off. They're all so random. So you just gotta try to find them and get in. I like to try to stick to one to two stocks at at most, and then. Like I have the ones that I want to compete with them right here under. So as you can see, I have you know this right here. Yesterday I was in Y Y C B D. Now I would have been holding on to my money actually if I would have stayed in Y C B D. You see where I got out at 84 cents. So uh ugh. anyways. I'm just praying that 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 pays off, but it's looking like it's really about to go down to 50 freaking cents, man. And that's that's gonna burn, bro. That'll burn. It's gonna burn a lot. So it's like, but you know, do I get out now and lose $200 and jump in something else and try to gain that back, or do I hold on the beautiful news that this that this company has? Because I mean, it has a lot of news going out with uh, the respiratory devices that they have created for the company in Korea they already have 10 million orders out I don't understand why this thing is not pumping like crazy I just have no idea it's like it's being diluted to the max like to the max because in 2018 I'm telling you this would have been flying there's no way like I I know I was there <laughs> I was making a killing okay a killing, a killing back then, turning thousands and tens, fifteen thousand dollars. Anyways, God bless you. Hope you guys. Uh, well, let's look at the. Before I go, let's look at the top gainers for today. USWS is still up in the 70s. That's awesome for them. Terrible for the people who bought in <laughs> early in the morning if they was up and able to buy. Um, yeah. Wow. These guys, I looked at them earlier doing exactly what they're supposed to do. These guys are probably going to take off. SDPI. I need to put them in my. Oh, I'm already okay. I'm already in watching them. So they just gotta be down at the bottom. See, I watch a bunch of stuff, so don't mind my watch list. This is all stuff from way back in 2018 as well. So most of my new stuff or newer stuff is down here at the bottom that I've been looking at. That New York. Oh, that's a perfect. Oh, this thing is about to take off. All these mortgage companies, for whatever reason, are doing really well. Really well. I mean, sheesh. But... The best one to get to make the most money is right here. It's out of my little watch list that I have. For sure. For sure. But never buy. Never chase. You don't chase in the beginning of the day. You're going to buy over here at the end of the day. Never buy in the, over here. I'm telling you guys. I've been doing this. Just, just don't do it. Buy at the end of the day between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's my time. 
after hours. That's when you buy. Because you can hit buy at 4 and something explodes at 4 or 5. Up. Uh, you know, just watch the dip. And, you know, if you feel like it's at a good dip at 4, get in at 4. If you feel like it's going to dip some more, you know, wait a little while. But some remarkable things happen after hours, believe me, guys. Um, anyhow. So a lot, a lot of great things happen here. I'm going to move this to the top of my chart. Bear with me as I do that here. I have so many. It just takes so long to get up there. So I'm, I do apologize. You guys have to uh, bear through this as I'm recording. But you get to listen to some of my, my dope beast. guys uh pray for me <laughs> over here because looks like that was the new high see hopefully hopefully from here over is now gone and it's starting the upward trend here right let's hope that it starts that upward trend there do, 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 do. let's hope it goes that from here on out right let's go all right fellas god bless thanks for watching getting in these rocket ships because they are taking off Peace.